Could you be a victim of a health club ripoff? Tomorrow at 6. Tonight's CBS program contains adult subject matter and may not be suitable for all audiences. I was once dating this woman who made flowers, little paper flowers, and she called one day with the seven dreaded words. There's something I have to tell you. So we met in a yogurt shop. She loved yogurt. And she told me that she had met somebody else, a tree surgeon. But could she keep seeing me, too? I could just see her sitting in her studio folding paper petals, thinking, yeah, you'll fall for this. A few years ago, I went out with this lawyer who got sent to work on a case in Paris. He called me on the Watts line, which is like shouting across the Atlantic. And he finally sent me a ticket to come visit him. So I flew over, and he met me at the airport and broke up with me. And I said, why couldn't you do this before I flew nine hours? And he said, I didn't want to hurt you over the phone. Went out a few times with one of the dolphin cheerleaders, and before I knew it, she was introducing me as her boyfriend. And I realized I better end this. I didn't want to do things my usual way, and I just stopped calling her. So I took her out, and she said, Thumper, you're only interested in me because I'm a cheerleader, so let's call it quits. And I felt bad because I couldn't keep myself from grinning. Sweeping changes, there is one certainty. The financial strength of the rock. The prudential rock solid. Why don't Olympic divers do cannonballs? Why ask why? Try Bud Dry. It's dry brew. To drink light, yet satisfy completely. When it comes to refreshment, oh, who was robbed? It's a perfect 10. A coin appraiser? Mm -hmm. uh, can you appraise that for me? Sure. The 1987 Denver Mint Penny, worth a penny. Okay, let me just walk out of here with it. You've got it. Well, what do you recommend I do with it? Throw it in the street for some kid to find. Make them happy. You know what things are worth then? Oh, yeah. Sure. Worked hard on my life. You know, the difference between MCI and AT&T for a minute of calling time is a penny. You're not really impressed by that. Not impressed at all. You pick these things up in the street when you see them? No, I wouldn't. Would you? No. <laughs> was a professor of English at the university who drew huge crowds teaching Hemingway and Fitzgerald. I'd look out at this sea of young, eager faces and shudder, knowing how much disappointment lay ahead. And Ken was a restaurant supplier who kept me in tablecloths and glassware. I was pretty jittery when Allison and I got married. But after a few years, after the girls were born, I thought, this is good. Growing up, I was always the goody-goody in the family. My baby sister, Lori, was the troublemaker. Lori moved down to Miami that fall to coach sports at a high school. That first season, my soccer team was undefeated, untied, leading the league, and no one came to our games. It was girls' soccer. I don't even watch men's soccer. Oh, honey, you don't have to do that. We'll clean up. No, that's okay. I don't mind. Thank you. It was a great party. Mm -hmm. I told Lori we'd go to one of her soccer games next week. I don't know if I can get away. I'll see. 
I'm sorry. It's just... It's fine with me. One game. I can't, okay? I can't be everywhere for everyone every time. I can't be perfect. What did I say? Lori was a great athlete. She would have played soccer in the Olympics if she hadn't been injured. These frat guys set fire to a mattress, then tried to put it out by peeing off the roof of our dorm. We used to do that. So I said to some of the girls on the team, come on, let's go show them how it's done. I was sure if we sat on the edge of the roof with our legs out. She slipped, fell three stories, broke her back, and missed the Olympics. You don't know unless you try. No, one adventure was ending, another had begun. The end. Oh, don't be sleeping. I don't want to have to read this again tomorrow. Hello? Is Kelly asleep, too? Unfortunately. Where were you? I told her I'd be working late. Oh, was Tracy sucking her thumb again? I'll take her with me to the dentist tomorrow. This is late. I had some research to do. You didn't tell me you were going to the dentist. I'd spent my life studying literature by people who led extraordinary lives. And my life wasn't extraordinary. Two kids, two cars, two vacations. I kind of had to realize I wasn't happy. Over the years, Ken seemed to show up for a cleaning whenever he and Allison were having marital difficulties. Oh, well, that's where I go when I'm having emotional problems. The dentist. It's the opposite of going to a shrink. I talk, my patients listen. Well, this is the danger point. Seven-year itch and all that. Ah, uh, hey, yeah. Hey. No, but don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today. I learned that the day my wife died. His wife was killed during a jewelry store holdup. When we found her, she was laying under a glass case filled with rings and watches. A shotgun blast that made a hole in her chest so you could see right through to the carpet. It should have been me in the jewelry store that day. Mrs. Willits was apparently upset because her husband wouldn't buy her a certain necklace, so... So she obtained a handgun and tried to steal it. Yeah! Nice game, coach. Yeah, it was too close. I'm stressed beyond belief. You want to go for a run? How far do you run? Not far. Five, six miles. She lent me sweats, and we ran five miles. He collapsed back at the locker room. I had some minor cramping in my legs. I thought he was going to die. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. I didn't realize how late it was. Do you mind, do you? Do I mind? I just forgot I have a meeting later, and I didn't want to rush you out. You like feeling better? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Thanks. Is that what I think it is? Caught with your sail hoisted. That's as embarrassing as it gets. Lori was always really comfortable with her body. I, I couldn't believe I was having these feelings for my wife's little sister. I was flattered. Hi, hon. Oh, do you have cash for the babysitter? Babysitter? Mm-hmm. I thought you said we were staying home tonight. I decided we should go and bring Lori. Thumper will be there. What? Well, I just thought tonight... we don't seem to spend any time alone anymore. We're alone right now. When we first got married, we'd make love anytime. Anywhere. And they're always doing it in the elevator, in the sink. Then it just got to be nights, and not that many nights either. <laughs> Station wants me to do a report on what it's like to run a marathon. How hard can that be? <laughs> they want me to run the marathon. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't pay me. Lori's run a marathon. It wasn't that bad. See, I don't believe that. Well, you really, it wasn't that bad? No, I only had to spend, what, two days in the hospital for blisters? Well, who told you to run in heels? Oh, but I had to. They went with the outfit. <laughs> Susan, Ken, and Lori all said they trained for the marathon with me. I did it for fun. I did it to get in shape. I did it because David bet me $1,000. I couldn't do it. Ken was running every morning, and I was working late most nights. He said it got to where they almost never saw each other. Two, three, four, trouble! Trouble. <laughs> all right, I'm off. <laughs> right. um, don't forget to give Kelly her medicine later. Mom, I'm all better now. No, you're not. Mm. I'll be back around 6. There's chicken defrosting. You want me to do anything with that? No, I want to cook. It'll relax me after a Sunday at the office. Mom, you forgot your beefcake. Oh, God, what an airhead. <laughs> you know, there, there were little clues. I mean, she'd be late or forget to call. He started to get suspicious. Then there was the night she said she slept at the office. So, have you noticed anything? No, but Allison's a very good liar. Maybe it's all in my head. 
I don't know what to do. Why didn't you just ask her? Why don't you ask her? Well, I could just slip it into the conversation, you know? And by the way, your husband thinks you're having an affair. He hasn't said anything to me. So just tell him you're not, and that's the end of it. I wonder if this means he's having an affair. Oh, come on. Hey, what about this one? Mm, no, Ken doesn't like white wine. But maybe my lover does. There is probably a better way to handle the situation. A lawyer. I didn't appreciate that he was discussing our marriage with all our friends. I didn't appreciate that all our friends thought she was having an affair. Or well, are you? What do you think? You know what I think. <sighs> You're being ridiculous. It was a non-denial denial. Ken started going to all of Lori's home games. I told myself I was just being a loyal brother-in-law. And he started going to all of her away games. When Ken and Allison got married, I did not understand his appeal at all. I never thought of her as a woman. She was just one of the guys. My sister was making him so unhappy. It broke my heart. We only ran six miles today? You knew that. And a marathon's 26 miles? And 385 yards, you knew that too. You want to shower here? She might as well have said, please take me now on the linoleum. Thumper and I were once interested in the same woman. And it got awkward because I think she was more attracted to me. So we both backed away. If that's how David wants to remember it, that's OK with me. You just missed a great shower. Look, I know you're joking around. I'm not joking around. You're not joking around? No, I'm attracted to you. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I'm married to your sister. So I'm a horrible person. I gotta go. Lock up, will ya? I was tempted, sure. But I was still in love with Allison. A smaller cappuccino cup. Serve less coffee, charge the same price. I mean, think about it. I will. No, you won't. No, I will. I will. <laughs> Are you sure you and Allison can't join us for the heat game? Jordan the Bulls. I told you, she has not set foot out of her office in days. I'm calling you. The professor instructed me to tell anyone who called for her that she was working in the library and could not be disturbed. Allison's secretary told me Allison hadn't been in the office all day. I forgot. Ken. What are you doing here? She knew I knew. I couldn't lie to him anymore. I can't explain it. I just needed to have something happening in my life that wasn't supposed to happen. Does that make any sense? All right. I don't want to talk about it again. I don't want to know who it is. It never happened. You walk out that door, you will make a call, and it will be over. Okay. And if I ever again hear that you're involved with another man, our marriage will end. I love you. Call. Felt like he dodged a huge bullet. All right, McGowan, stop that wing when she comes through there. I won't be running with you in the mornings anymore. I really freaked you out, huh? Yeah. Oh, it'd been very wrong. Yeah. Would have been very good. I don't think things got easier after she ended the affair. Ken was making such a big effort. You're making those faces again. I'm not making faces. You are, and the little sighs. I'm sorry. It's just difficult. What, was this guy so great in bed? I uh, don't understand. Explain it to me. Uh, he just thought about himself more. He wasn't so concerned with how I was feeling. You want me to be more selfish? Uh, but that's not totally it. Well, do you want to try again? Uh, I guess so. People always tell me that marriage is something you have to work at. I had plenty of days where I thought, this is more trouble than it's worth. I already have a job. What are you doing? Oh, grading papers. 
It's amazing how a kid can read Hemingway and suddenly every word with more than two syllables disappears from her vocabulary. Oh, that feels good. Mm, don't stop. Mm -hmm. For the first time, I started to discuss my work with him. I think she always assumed that I wouldn't find it that interesting. I've read her work. It's not that interesting. <laughs> Do they show any promise? Kelly has great defense. Make a great fullback. I don't know. Fullback's not exactly a glamour position. I was a fullback. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I love you. Mm, I love you, too. Feel like going upstairs? Most romantic afternoon of my life. <sighs> Move to the floor. No, this is good. Move to the floor. I saw him the next day, he was grinning from ear to ear. Actually, I was always very self-conscious about my smile. He had a slightly recessed left incisor. I recommended bonding. I'm sure he did. Ken, before we get to your teeth, I have to tell you, I'm in love with your wife. <laughs> okay, everybody will want to take a good look at this. The Elantra, a car so well-built and worry-free that in addition to the regular warranty, we'll take care of service and maintenance free. So about all you pay for is gas. Hey, with standard equipment like that, no wonder this car is looking good. The Elantra, from Hyundai. Yes, Hyundai. And now at your Hyundai dealer, up to a $1,000 rebate makes the Elantra look even better. For years, I was faithful to one detergent. <laughs> And then this guy offers to wash one of my husband's t-shirts in an unbranded detergent and, and one of them in new ultra surf, right? And he washes them both, and they both look spotless. And I said, well, you wasted your time. He says, okay, now watch this. And he puts a little heat with an iron. And it brought out these odors. I could smell it. The surf shirt smelled much cleaner, so now I use it. I mean, with surf, it doesn't just look clean. It is clean. I like clean. It kills germs just like it always did. It fights black and the gum disease gingivitis, just like it always did. Now it does one thing it never did. Introducing Cool Mint Listerine. With an exhilarating Cool Minty taste. New Cool Mint Listerine antiseptic. Works like Listerine, tastes like Cool Mint. Your favorite stars from your favorite shows, plus Vanilla Ice in a death-defying stunt. Leslie Nielsen and Dixie Carter host... He's found someone new, but is she a killer? I tell you, she's bad news. Don't make me kill you. Wednesday, Raven. Only 60 minutes could assemble this much talent on one stage. Friday at 9, 8 Central. The Entertainers. I don't think women take out their aggressions the same way men do. They don't. They hold grudges. If they did, I would be dead. I just sat in that dentist chair with the stupid bib around my neck and a silly smile on my face. I was just tired of all the sneaking around, and I know Allison was too. Look, it happened. It's over. I, I it don't... isn't over. I don't know which made me crazier. You know, the fact that she slept with another man or that she slept with our dentist. Ken got so violent. I put my fist through the wall. He should have put his fist through the dentist. He broke his hand in two places. Yeah. Hi, Daddy. Girls, go upstairs. Honey, what happened to your hand? Girls, go upstairs. I would convinced myself that I could love two men, that I didn't have to let go of Martin. She had a million explanations. He asked her to move out that night. Thinking evil thoughts about me? No, just contemplating the mysteries of life. I'll be taking my car. Well, that's one mystery cleared up. <clears throat> I told the girls I'd be gone for a few days. Oh, what's one more lie? You have enough money? I do, yes. Why is that funny? I do. Now seems funny to me. 
They called their lawyers in the morning. I told Ken we can win. We can keep the house and the cars and the cash and the girls. But he insisted on sharing custody with Allison. She was still their mother. It's always the guys who can win who never want to fight. Allison moved in with Dr. Willis. To celebrate, Martin bought me a necklace I'd once admired. I wasn't taking any chances. Got it. It's really great running into yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Uh, look, I'd better run, but I... I hope this whole thing with Ken doesn't mean I won't see you guys. No. Oh, don't no, be silly. Oh, God. Bye. 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 Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We'll never see her again. It's strange, like all your friends were on a plane that crashed. It's hard not to choose sides. Allison asked me to pick up some stuff she left at their house. Why does Allison need her riding helmet? Oh, forget it. I don't want to know. How's she doing? Forget it. You don't want to know. She's happy? She's a very good liar. She asked me why I hadn't been to a soccer game in a while. I wanted to keep seeing him. I didn't want him to disappear from my life. It's hard for people to say goodbye. It's harder for some than for others. Her name's Elena. How do you know all these women? I'll introduce you. It's not exactly a halogen bulb, and she's got bad teeth. She should see a dentist. I can handle the word dentist. Just not ready to meet anyone yet. When do you think you'll be ready? I'd give him another hour. He tried to focus on his work. I spent a lot of time with the girls. He hated being alone. For a while, Laurie called every few days to check on me. I got the feeling maybe I was intruding, so I stopped. I couldn't tell her I dreamed about her almost every night. Don't you have a game today? No, season's over. We won the championship. 4-3 in overtime. I missed the championship game? That's OK. Your excuse, personal problems. <laughs> Come here. How my legs? What would you do if I wasn't here? Oh, I think about you a lot. Same <laughs> as always. I meant, how would you do sit-ups? You want to have dinner after I shower? The locker room was empty, and I sat there for a few minutes, thumbing through Coaching Magazine. It actually has some interesting articles. Careful, you don't want to get your hand wet. Yes, I do. I decided for once I wasn't going to think about the consequences. What we did isn't a crime. People have been shot for less. Should I call you? If you don't, I'll tell my sister. But don't even joke about that. Relax. She's not going to find out. Lori? Hi, it's me. She'd been sitting outside for hours, desperate to talk to Lori. I was glad to see that Lori and Ken had stayed friends. I made tea, and we talked about her and Dr. Willits all night. She said he'd become impotent. The pressure to make the relationship work got to me. It happens. It's like turning on a flashlight and finding out that the batteries are dead. That was the least of our problems. Ken was never impotent. Well, that's good. How is that good? Are you even listening to me? I, I meant for Ken. Oh. Hey. What's the matter? I miss Ken. I didn't realize what I had till it was gone. Clichés are clichés because they're true. Ken couldn't believe that Allison wanted to come back. She wants you back. That, that's not possible. I promised her I would tell you. That's just not possible. They met at the house that night. How could I ever trust you? I don't know. How could I be sure it wouldn't happen again? I don't know. How could I even look at myself in the mirror? I don't know. She 
she was finally honest with me. I was terrified he'd throw me out. Ken told me to file the documents, not destroy them, just file them. She's my sister, but I couldn't believe he took her back. You don't know unless you try. I guess I'm never entirely convincing when I say I'm happy not to have the work. Our friends were shocked, yeah, but I thought they'd understand eventually. Never in a million years. Did you pack enough carbs? Ready to go. I don't know why you quit training, honey. You and Lori would have had fun running the marathon together. Yes, isn't it lovely to think so? <laughs> Hemingway. He quoted Hemingway. Thumper and I finished the marathon about 25 minutes behind the leaders. I finished a little later. About four hours later. <laughs> And it still cost me a thousand bucks. Shh, they're here. Thank you for such a nice evening. You're welcome. <laughs> You deserve to have a surprise here. Mm -hmm. It was a great party. I accidentally sprayed champagne all over Lori. I went upstairs to take a shower. I stayed downstairs. Ken was still trying to sell me those smaller cappuccino cups. I told him I needed the money. We wanted another baby. I gave David my best spiel. That's all I heard. Vanity, envy, lust, greed, anger. Sloth and gluttony. There are seven deadly sins. Only one movie's got them all. Death Becomes Her, rated PG-13. Starts Friday, July 31st. Country Croft Churn Style? Churn Style. That sweet, buttery taste reminds me of dinner on the farm. Try the sweet, buttery taste of Country Croft Churn Style. Like regular Country Croft, it has fewer calories and no cholesterol. This is stupid. Yeah, the only thing stupid was asking you, little brother, for help. It's never gonna fit. Well, if you push. Hey, watch the light! Mom's gonna kill you. Me? Yeah. Break. Break. Lipton iced tea mixes, now in five delicious fruit flavors. Hey, this one's new. Citrus tea. Raspberry! Citrus! Citrus. Refresh yourself with Lipton fruit-flavored iced teas. So what do we do about the couch? What couch? <laughs> Revenge. We gonna even bother with an arrest or are we gonna blow him away on the spot? Right! Bodies of Evidence, Thursday. Congratulations to CBS Monday Night for being a night of Emmy nominations, including Northern Exposure, with 16 nominations. No surprises here. Northern Exposure. Next. When evidence of a murderous crime spree points to...